Are you interested in learning how to upload your own interiors into BookBolt? If you guys want to know how to do it, make sure you guys keep watching. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you make sure that you do have your file in a PDF form, whether you created it on Google Docs, on Microsoft Word, um, Google Slides, on PowerPoint, wherever you created it in Canva, wherever it is created, make sure that it is in PDF form. And you want to go over to bookbolt.io. Hopefully you do have a Bookbolt account. If not, make sure you guys check out my link in the description down below. I have a link you guys can click on and make sure you guys use my code so you guys can get 20% off. So what you want to do is you want to go over and log into Bookbolt. And then you want to go over to research. You want to do create, click Bookbolt Studio. And then you want to create a file. Now we're going to go over to project. We're going to create a new project. And then we want to call it whatever it is. I'm going to call it bucket list. Okay. I'm going to keep this at paperback. If you're doing a hardcover, you want to change that. But I'm doing paperback. Um, as far as the size, whatever size your book is, you're going to go ahead and do whatever size it is. I'm doing eight and a half by 11. And then as far as bleed, I'm going to leave it at bleed. And as far as page count, now, depending on how many pages your book is, make sure you change that to this. I'm going to leave it at 24 because I'm just going to show you guys an example of how to upload it. But make sure that you guys change this to your amount of pages that your book is going to be. So we're going to go ahead and hit create project. And then we're going to go to page one here. Okay, so if your page is going to start on page one for you're going to put your first interior, if not, you put it on whatever page is going to start on your interior. Then you want you want to do is you want to go to file library. And this is you can do this. Um, you can upload images and you can upload PDF. So you're going to go ahead and upload a PDF and you're going to choose your PDF file and then you're going to find where your file is. Going to go ahead and click on your file and open. Then it's going to upload in here and then you will be able. So there it is, template there. Then you're going to hit submit. And it shouldn't take that long unless you have a lot of pages. So if you have a lot of pages, it's going to take a minute. So you're going to go ahead and click on it. And then it's going to upload on your page. Now, wherever pages that you want this book on or this interior on, you can go ahead and clone it. Say, for instance, here is your page. You're going to um, right click and you're going to go clone this page. And then you're going to select all the pages that you want it on. If you wanted to select all, you would do select all, uncheck the cover, make sure that everything is selected. And then you're going to hit clone. Now, if you did want to make some changes to this, if you wanted to maybe put an image on it, make sure you guys do that. And always, it does auto save, but I always like to hit save. But if you guys decide um, that you guys want to add something else to it, like a flower or whatever you want, just change it and then you will go back to clone and then you're going to clone it the same way. And then it will be on all your pages and you can see here it's on all your pages. If you wanted to upload another file, just you would do it at the same time that you're uploading that other file. You go ahead and upload it and then you would choose which file you want on there and then you would choose. I like to do it by itself. But if you went back in, I would like to just do them individually. I've never done them at the same time. I'm not sure if you can do that, but I usually just pick, okay, whatever page I want it to be on, pick the, the interior page, the PDF file, and pick what page I want it on. And then that's pretty much how you do it. It's pretty easy. And it's the same way if you wanted to do an image, you would just go to the file library, upload your image, find your image. It's the same thing. And then you would upload it. So that is it, you guys. It's pretty simple pretty easy to do. If there's something that you guys want like me to do, if you have any questions, make sure you guys um, leave me a comment down below and make sure you guys check out my playlist down below because I have other things that I talk about. Like if you want to learn how to say, for instance, you have um, an interior within here and you want to make changes to it within the interior within BookBoat, I will show you guys how to do that. So make sure you guys check out my playlist and look for the video on how to uh, change the interior that is already inside of BookBoat. Make sure you guys check out that video. So that is it, you guys. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.